Hey guys, welcome back to the AWS Cloud Demos. So my name is Murli and I'm a AWS Solution Architect. So in today's demo, we will look into how we create a CloudWatch agent in EC2 Linux instance. And also we will understand what we can do with the CloudWatch agent. So, so what is CloudWatch agent? So CloudWatch agent is uh, used to collect the metrics. Um, there are some of the use cases um, for the CloudWatch agent that includes something like system and application performance monitoring. For example, the CloudWatch agent can collect the uh, system and application metrics such as CPU utilization, memory usage, disk and network traffic. Right, uh, and also log the collection and analysis. For example, the CloudWatch agent can collect the logs from operating systems, applications, and custom sources. Right, it can also parse the fil parse and filter logs and create metrics from the log data as well. Um, so also you could use it for container monitoring. For example, uh, it can be used to monitor containers running on. Uh, uh, AWS ECS which is Elastic Container Service and also EKS which is Elastic Kubernetes Service and Container or Orchestration Services right it can collect metrics and logs for all the con from all the containers and host machines okay and also the custom metrics and dimensions the CloudWatch agent can be configured to collect the uh, custom metrics and dimensions from applications and services running on EC2 instances Okay, um, so we will look into how uh, these can be collected uh, in our uh, CloudWatch uh, metrics. Okay, um, in our dashboard, uh, we will do some visualization um, on the CloudWatch agent. Okay, uh, and also you could uh, do the alerting and notification. For example, uh, the CloudWatch agent uh, can be used to create alarms and notifications based on metric thresholds and log events. Okay, so this allows the users to receive alerts when certain event occurs okay so such as when application is down or when server is running out of disk space etc all right uh, so i hope you will enjoy this video uh, so let's discuss about the diagram here so basically what we will do here is create a ec2 instance we'll create an IAM role we will assign the role to our ec2 instance so that uh, we will be installing our cloudwatch uh, agent in our ec2 instance um, to collect the metrics and send it to our cloudwatch uh, dashboard and we will see how it works i have already logged into my account so if you haven't then please go ahead to your console and log into your console and let's begin the demo so head over to the ec2 instance uh, like in the search box just type ec2 here click on ec2 and launch instance so in here i'm going to name uh, you can you can put anything uh, that makes sense to you in my case i'm going to just put uh, linux server all right just uh, select the amazon linux amazon linux 2 and 64 bit uh, just make sure you select the 64 bit and then uh, also choose t2 micro if you have not uh, this is selected by default but if it is not then you go ahead and select the t2 micro and let's create a key pair uh, so i'm gonna name it next key pair so i have selected rsa and also pem file maybe for windows users you will have to choose ppk for putty for uh, putty users for on windows um so make sure you select the right uh, private key file format uh, for your uh, key pair okay so uh, in my case i'm using mac so i'm going to use open ssh so i'm going to use rsa okay just click on create key pair and then scroll to the bottom let's say let's create a security group edit and enable the auto assign public ip create security group let's name this as linux server security group just copy this and paste it here and then we are choosing the ssh uh, which is which allows the access from anywhere so that we can ssh into our ec2 instance and install the cloudwatch agent and i think once you're done with this right scroll to the bottom and go to the advanced um, settings okay uh, and go to the im instance profile so do you have any uh, so I think I need to create a new IAM profile for my uh, EC2 instance because I want to allow the CloudWatch logs um, to be sent to my CloudWatch dashboard and also I need the system uh, SSM access. So for this reason what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a role from here and choose EC2 from here, AWS service and then EC2 and then click on next. Okay, so here I'm going to do something like, um, I'm going to type something like, 
CloudWatch. So I'm just trying to find the agent admin policy so that uh, you should be able to see. Yeah, yeah. So this is the policy that I want to give um, to my role. So select this one, close, close CloudWatch, and then also give access to your SSM. Just type SSM there and choose the Amazon SSM full access. We will discuss about uh, why we are giving these permissions later in this video. Just for now, just select these roles and click on next, like so. And I'm going to give a role name which is C2 CloudWatch role. And then once you're done with this, right, um, make sure you select these two policies and then click on create role. So once you create a role, um, you have created the role, just type EC2 and select this. Um, I think you have already created your role, right? Um, so just making sure that you have uh, your role appearing in your roles, correct? And now what I'm going to do, go back to the previous tab where I was creating the, um, adding the IM instance profile, right? Um, so I do not see my role yet. Just click on the refresh and you should be able to see the role, which is EC2 CloudWatch role. Just assign that role to your EC2 instance. And then you scroll to the bottom and looks like everything is good. Just after you finish uh, creating role and assigning the role to your EC2 instance like we did here in the above, right? And then go ahead and launch the instance. Okay, so now that we have successfully launched the instance, just give it a second so that it will um, start running. And then we will try to go ahead and connect to our Linux instance using the SSH, all right? Just give it a second. So now it's running just select this uh, linux server and click on connect and there and when you click on session manager uh let's come back to the session manager later uh, so click on uh, the ssh client and click and select these uh, key pair that we have created now let's go to the terminal so this is my terminal i have already opened it so i'm going to maximize this a bit okay so that it's uh clear so now i'm gonna paste um so i've downloaded the key pair to the downloads folder now run this command so that you are giving the permissions to your key pair okay um and then copy the ssh command to connect to your ec2 instance and now hit enter so type yes and you should be able to connect to your linux environment all right so now you have connected to the linux environment so what i'm gonna do is gonna copy a command which will um uh, download the CloudWatch Unified Agent. Let me get wget uh, to download the uh, file and I'm going to just copy the command instead. Just paste this command. So I've just pasted this command uh, to download the uh, CloudWatch Agent. Okay. So now that it has downloaded the uh, CloudWatch Agent RPM file, so just do ls so you should be able to see the downloaded file over here so we will use this file to install the cloudwatch agent also you could use something like yum install aws cloudwatch agent but i'm doing uh, it a different way right um so now that i have downloaded i will include all these commands in uh, uh, the description box below uh, so that uh, you can follow to uh, create a cloudwatch agent uh, in your ec2 instance okay for now just go ahead and download this just follow the video and i will give you the steps in the description box below okay so now let's come back to the uh, demo um, just copy the other command which will run the cloudwatch which will install the cloudwatch agent all right sudo uh, root user rpm minus u and your rpm file okay just hit enter so that it should create a group CW agent and also it should create a user called CW uh, agent, okay? So now that it has created uh, the group and the user, so what we will do is we will copy a, another command to start a wizard, okay? Copy the command and I'm gonna paste it. So I have pasted, I've pasted a command which is CloudWatch 
uh, agent config wizard so we will start the wizard to create our uh, a cloudwatch agent okay so it, the first question it is asking is uh, on which operating system you are planning to use the agent we are using linux so default choice is one so just hit enter you don't need to type in one you just need to hit enter okay and now trying to fetch the default region based on the ec2 metadata um are you using ec2 or on premise search? we are using ec2 so let's Keep the default choice again hit enter and next which user are you planning to run the agent on so i'm going to use root agent root user okay so default choice is one i'm going to leave it as is click enter and uh, do you want to turn on stats d daemon we will discuss about what's uh, stats d uh, daemon so basically uh, what is stats d daemon so stats d daemon is supported on both linux and servers and also windows servers so for example to retrieve any custom metrics for your applications or services using stats d and uh, uh, collect d protocols right uh, so we use that uh, uh, for that reason but uh, for now for this demo i don't think you need anything uh, on stats d so you just hit no uh, just hit just type 2 and just hit enter and do you want to monitor metrics from collect d and hit enter you don't need to collect anything from collect d and uh, do you want to monitor any metrics like from host metrics of course we need to monitor uh, the host metrics and that is the purpose of this demo click uh, type one and enter and do you want to monitor cpu metrics per core yes hit enter and do you want to add ec2 dimensions like image id instance id and i think you should be able to add these dimensions and just type one and enter do you want to aggregate ec2 dimensions instance id just hit enter and then would you like to collect the metrics at a high resolution sum uh, okay just just choose just hit enter and then which default metrics uh, config do you want maybe you could have standard metrics click on two and you should be able to see some output like this um you will see the uh, config so it will write the config onto your uh, onto a file onto a json file and uh, and the next question will be are you satisfied with the above config right so default one yes hit enter do you have any existing cloudwatch agent no do you want to monitor any log files nope and do you want to store the config in the ssm parameter store for now i'm not going to choose any um, ssm parameter store for now uh, I, I know I've given permission to the SSM store, but I, I just wanted to, you know, demo you uh, how the CloudWatch agent metrics will do. And I don't want to show you anything uh, related to the SSM uh, as of now, but we will cover that in the later video. Okay, um, just put two. So now that we have finished our wizard, right, uh, it has created. Now let's do LS over here. Uh, do you see anything else? Nope. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we will start the agent um, so I'm gonna copy a command I'm gonna run this command so which will basically run the agent which will start the agent okay and then we will see the status uh, and we have also created a sim link okay um, we will see how we will see the status of the cloudwatch agent whether it is running or not so for that reason what I'm going to do is just clear this window I'm typing clear and enter so clear your screen so that it will be nice and clear and now do system ctl status amazon cloudwatch agent okay and then hit enter so now that our cloudwatch agent is running okay just at 27 seconds ago so we have started we have successfully started our cloudwatch agent so now that what we will do is we will go to cloudwatch in our aws console and we will see uh, whether the CW agent uh, has been created or not. So head over to your console and go to CloudWatch. Click on CloudWatch. And in here, um, if you go to metrics and all metrics, click on all metrics on the left side. And if you go to 
I'll just refresh this a couple of times because it might take uh, some time uh, so just refresh this page and it will take a couple of minutes maybe for getting the cloudwatch agent so just keep refreshing maybe under query i don't see anything in the other tabs but uh, you should be able to see the cloudwatch agent in here uh, in some time So there you go now you have this cw agent that we have created and our cloudwatch agent is successfully running now if you click on the cw agent right you should be able to see our instance id which is linux server and you can uh, see the metrics that we are trying to collect which is memory used percentage swaps swaps used cpu usage and we have disk used person so i think we have discussed right like what cloudwatch agent can send you metrics like uh, for example for every 60 seconds what we want to uh, uh get the information from ec2 instance like disk usage cpu usage cpu idle time you know all that information that uh, from our uh, ec2 instance right so now click on uh, linux server and you should be able to see the uh, metrics over here but uh, we have selected uh, for every 60 seconds but you should be able to see the graph like after 30 minutes or so or after one hour you should be able to see the, all the graphs because um, uh, and that's when you will see all your metrics all right and if i go to go back to metrics or maybe go to metrics again cloudwatch uh, maybe click on metrics again i'm just trying to go back to the previous okay so click on cw agent here and now click on instance i instance type so you can see disk uh this is a metric name uh, i'm not sure what this is so click on disk io time right uh, so basically this is uh the disk io time in proper time maybe uh maybe i think i should uh investigate this a bit to understand a bit more about this one but at, at this point of time you can ignore that for now go back to the cw agent and we will see uh instance id and you can see right all these are the metrics that we are trying to collect from our uh, uh, ec2 instance okay um, so i hope this gives you a good idea on how we install cloudwatch agent and how we can you know uh, use the cloudwatch agent uh, to understand our uh, linux server uh, which is acting as our uh, imagine you could install your httpd server right so that you your server will be able to send you the metrics so that uh, if if your server is running out of space like disk usage or or performance or cpu metrics or logging monitoring or if you want to do a debug so this is the right place where this is the use case for a cloudwatch agent where it will be giving you all such information okay so i hope you enjoyed this video and please give it a like if you like it and uh, also share the video if you if you want to share it and please subscribe to my video and uh, th this keeps me motivated uh, to make more videos uh, and uh, and please don't forget to comment uh, down below and also uh, please watch out for my next videos and thank you so much i will see you guys later